over the next three hours we can... Well, good morning. <coughs> Only the Macam Cab here, yeah. How are you doing? Well, a couple of things. Let's quickly talk about the um, the review of the uh, Sheffield Wednesday game and the incident, of course, with the Sheffield Wednesday fans. Um, but we'll go on the Sheffield Wednesday fans first. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of angry responses, isn't there? Which is natural. But, do you know, they would help themselves if they just met, if they made a public apology, came forward, and said something along, you know, along the lines of like, you know, we would just rush a blood, we totally weren't thinking, or something like that. You know, then they'd get more respect than just calving away and just staying out. I mean, we've all done stupid things. I mean, I know that's to a different level, but unfortunately, you get these type of people in the world that are just thick as fucking mince. But they're not helping themselves by just cowing down and saying out. Um, you know, it's just it's just mental, and it? it just it just boggles the mind what people what people do and what people think. And I'm sure they're like the Lowry family. You know, they're they're very very strong willed, got very strong minds, and um, you know they'll just uh, brush that aside. As you know, they they, they are, without a shadow of a doubt they're gone. You know, we rise above that. You know, we're better than that, and of course they are. But it's just, uh, just bloody stupid, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Just stupid. I mean, if 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 that was their way of firing a weapon to the Sunderland fans, well, it's like the Scud missiles just turn round. And came back and has hit them back and and the club unfortunately, so it's done now. But destroy their reputations and not so much going to say Sheffield Wednesday, but you know their club, their name sticks with what's happened. But we all know it's minorities, and I mean let's face it, they've, they've raised around about twelve thousand, I think, the fans for the Lowry Foundation, which is absolutely fantastic. And we all know there's more good people. Around there, they're the genuine fans. They're the proper fans. So anyway, I went to the um, the match itself. I thought it was a lovely pick me up. What we needed, <clears throat> especially what happened for the Cardiff City game. Thought the lads just played well. You know, put the game to bed early on. That's what we did. Settled the nerves. We did the job. Took the foot off the gas the second half we weren't any danger they weren't going to score against us um, you know to keep the players fit didn't risk injuries why can't hell for leather the job's done um, clean sheet uh, fantastic performance and there's still that team spirit there and it was just it was just great to watch and give everybody a nice weekend um, we can relax where the job was done and it was just nice to do the job on Sky. And it's it is people saying it's a shame what's happening to Sheffield Wednesday, you know, but hey, we've got to focus on us. It's we've had that time, you know, we've been where they were. And as we know it can happen to any big club. And uh, it was a, just a great, great performance from us all round. Um Jack Clark, we all know what Jack Clark and they you know superb Patterson, couple of saves, but that nothing else really to worry about. But you know, just the the way we were passing the ball and knocking it about, and we just looked so comfortable. And it's nice to start seeing our Sunderland side gelling like that. It's uh, it really, really is. I mean, for all the fans that went down there, three and a half thousand fans and all, I thought that was just class and the noise they made throughout the night. Brilliant. Well, I'm about to pick up my passenger now. So my spunky monkeys, we'll see you later, toodaloo.